Hi, I'm Dustin Brown, professional hockey player. And today's pro tip of the day is puck protection while driving the net. What you're going to do here is when you have a step on a defenseman and you're driving wide around him, a lot of times, or a lot of times you see younger players, they'll expose the puck out like this. And you know what? A D will come in and take the puck from them. What you want to do here with puck protection is a few different things. First, you have to have a step on your defenseman first. Like, this is a step. I have a step. I have the advantage going to the net. As I'm going to the net, you want to protect the puck by pulling it out away from him. That's the first step right there, just getting your puck out here. Because the puck out here is a lot farther for him to go. If I bring it inside, it's an easy, he can easily check the puck away from me. So, you want to have the puck on the outside of your body. That's going to take a little bit of getting used to, depending on what side you're on. I'm on my offside. It's a little awkward leaving the puck out here like that. On your strong side, it's probably a little easier because you're coming into the net like this on your forehand. It's easier to keep it out. But the real key to this, and you'll see a lot of pro players do this, and they protect the puck very well and get a good scoring chance, or more often than not, they, get, they draw a, a tripping penalty because they protect the puck with their leg. What's going to happen is as you get there, you pull it out, but then you also put your foot out like this. That, that more or less creates a barrier for him to not be able to stick check you. Once you have a step on him, it's about keeping that advantage while you're going to the net. A good way to practice this is doing one-on-ones with a, a friend. The other thing that you have to remember while going to the net is maybe a few times just getting your foot out there because it is not the most uh, natural feeling position. When you have the puck like that, it's not very natural. It doesn't feel normal to you, but the more you do it at high speed, you're going get, to start getting used to it, and you'll start to see that once you get that leg out there, that D pretty much has no chance. The other thing to really think about when you're doing this is you have the defenseman beat and the puck protected away from him. But as he's coming in behind me, I want to score a goal. I got to think about what the goalie's doing. He has an angle on here. The best chance you have of scoring a goal is really coming across the whole crease like that, because then that makes him move. Sometimes you do not have the room to do that, and you have to go to the short side, which is here. But the chances of scoring a goal from there are a lot less than if you cut it and bring it to the middle. That is a strong power move and probably the best way to score when you have a step on the defenseman. Very hard for the goalie to save, almost nearly impossible for the D to get the puck from you. I'm Dustin Brown. I'll see you on the ice.